So welcome everyone. This is a short clip where uh, I will guide you and through the basic uh, features of Assembly 64. Um, it's not planned in detail and I'll just browse ahead and I'll try to explain the concepts and so. So uh, don't expect any any super uh, super scheduled or a super planned video here, but uh, hopefully you can uh, benefit something from it. So the the first thing that you typically do is to uh, choose a new installation. This is a, a place where uh, the artifacts or collection of contents are installed. So it can be either a USB stick or uh, as I choose here a folder on, on the disk. So now it appears here. I see a tree of a few different categories. I uh, can then drill into this. I can choose something here. Uh, top uh, demos 200 and then I choose install. And when uh, the green uh, the green uh, ball appears, it's installed, and uh, you can access all the content. So if we look at um, yeah, we can look at the rivalry. You can drill in to here. Uh, content is fetched, the images and and so. You can uh, see the see the, that the, here are two disks. You can uh, you can mount and run in emulator. This uh, this is a prerequisite that you have set up Vice, which I will go through in a minute. So here we here we actually run a demo, which is quite nice. So yeah, I can show you uh, how to link Vice. Uh, basically, you just point out the device binary and click and close the window. And you should be uh, good to go. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for now. This is the different category. Most of the most of the content is from CSDB. Uh, there is also a few others, c64.com, Guybrush, which is my own repository for uh, putting stuff that pretty much uh, is non-scene related, but too good to be thrown away. Uh, yeah, and we have uh, lots of different categories, um, quite, quite many different game sources, which is nice. So, uh, what can I say more? Yeah, there is uh, obviously a lot of stuff integrated here. Uh, we all love uh, the ultimate products from Gideon. So I can uh, shed some light on that. Um, those uh, appear here. If you have not... I have four, four devices here. If, if you're uh, new to this, you can click discover devices and it will scan your your uh, home network for for uh, for the different uh, devices um, now it's i i already have my my configured so so um, and here here it lights up my ultimate 64 which is nice because that's what i'm going to use right now so I have uh, implemented uh, Streamalot, which is uh, Streamer. Uh, so this is this is the this is actually coming from my Ultimate 64 right now. Um, so what I can do here is I close this. I can actually uh, I can. I can drop stuff into this, so I can I can run files directly on my ultimate. So this is this is really nice. I think you 
you can resize, you can do screenshots, you can mute the sound. Um, so it, uh, it works fairly nice. Um, yeah, that is short in short about installations. So then we have uh, uh, I will try to go through about favorites and public lists. So I can public list is we can I can view people who have created collections of of, of uh, demos and games and I get them listed here. I can then choose to subscribe to this list. I can choose to uh, describe uh, to subscribe to Genesis product also. So what happens then? Um, if I look here, I now have uh, two collections. I can drill down. I can do uh, yeah, like like installations. I can I can look, and I can. I think uh, sorry, and I can run it. Oh, not supported yet. Uh, Sorry, not so oh, okay. Strange. Uh, I think uh, it's not supported from this part of the tree yet. I, I can add that later. But anyway, uh, I could run it like like this. So here I can I can run my collections. Uh, so I could also, the, he, here comes uh, what's not super clear, uh, in my favorites, in my installation, because this is just on my screen right now, uh, on my computer right now. So I could also say, because as soon as I, I add a, a, a favorite here or a public list here, it appears uh, under my favorites. So here I can actually choose install. So now it takes this and deploys it to, to, to my installation here. So just because you have it here doesn't mean you need to have it on all your different installation, SD cards or whatever. But once I choose install, it will keep your uh, uh, SD card or installation up to date. When, you, uh, when, when, there is new, uh, when the creator of this public list adds stuff, it will be automatically synced down. Here and that's nice. So that that's that's uh, what people uh, ask about. Uh, what's how how the relation is between those two. So uh, that's about public lists. Uh, I can go into favorites. I can create my own list. Demo list. I don't. Uh, I, I could set this to, to public, and then it would appear here in public lists for for others to to uh, to subscribe to. But uh, now I, I choose to have it private. So I now created my collection. I then could go into uh, the search tool, or I can do a quick search here. We could do Christmas Mega. I get the Christmas Mega demo. Uh, I could do add to favorites, add to my list, uh, to, to my collection, and now I have the Christmas Mega demo. And I can run it and do whatever I, as, as any other content. I can also look here now under favorites. Here it now pops up. And I could do update. I don't know why. Oh, sorry. Install. So now it's it's here under my favorites and it's on my on my collection. So uh, public lists and favorites are pretty much the 
same functionality otherwise the difference is that here you you subscribe to other people's content uh, what's next seedify you have is, is a seed player it is also uh, integrated towards the ultimate so you can you can click here and I can click on a, something here and So this is this is the like Spotify, and you can you can either play it uh, on your computer or choose to to play on on uh, the primary ultimate device. Private folders uh, you can almost forgot how, how this works, but uh, you can choose a folder locally on your machine shared with no one other than yourself and put stuff let's say you have a good collection of of, uh, of uh, tools that you would like to to have synced out on all your different uh, SD cards USB sticks or whatever you uh, define them here you can you can choose three of them and they appear here you can browse them and then you can uh, see where it is private yeah it appears here now there's a duplicate that's a bug but uh, I can choose to install so so then I get my stuff synced here uh, which I don't want to share with with anyone else so that, that's a quite nice feature uh, yeah, I will. I will make uh, a few more videos, but this is uh, a good start, I would say. There is a chat. There is Cedify. There is news where we where we post news. Me and the Sarge. There is uh, Elaine. I will cover later there is yeah there is a lot of stuff here that that you can experiment with and if you have any uh, if you have any questions you can just ask in the chat or ask on, on uh, Facebook or so but I think I will stop here right now uh, yeah hope it uh, brought you some new information have a nice day bye